uh, what was wrong with my horseshoe? Why did I have to get a drill out and reset my horseshoe? Now every self-respecting southerner knows that you do not hang your horseshoe upside down because the luck will drain out. Good it thing is. I fixed it, huh? It's draining our luck. Yeah. Man, luck or not, let's get this pelican in Little Bay behind McDonald's and do some city fishing. Not in, not in. Next to, but not in. <laughs> so Little Bay in Rockport has a motorized section and it has a non-motorized section over there by the reef, by the road. Something to keep in mind. Got some nice homes, we've got a deep canal. It's gonna go up onto a shelf with an oyster bar. We'll just drift right over all this. Let's get up. Oh, I had to borrow Tr Teresa's uh, chicken socks because my feet got cold. George Strait used to own one of these houses out here on the end of Key Allegro. It's really pretty, man. Dang it, Teresa. That's a city trout. It's a city trout. I ain't got one bite on my corky. She done honk too. I guess I'm about, I'm about to have to change, I guess. That's a good trout. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you, woman. Teresa hung that dude on a south coast tackle fatty. They cast a mile. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, boy. All right. <laughs> Urban drought. <laughs> That's an incredible oystery system right here in the middle of town in Little Bay. It runs for, I don't know, a mile and a half, two miles, right down through the main drag of town. It's pretty awesome. Well, me and T had a great little trip right there in the middle of Rockport. It was a lot of fun. But tomorrow we've got our sights set on somewhere a little more remote. Oh man, my tackle bucket. I'm going surfing. Whoa! Pelican takes swells, man. Shrimp boat swells. It's gonna be shallow on this reef right here. We might have to go in the channel. All right, let's do this. Pelican day. And here I'm telling her top water ain't no good. <laughs> it was sitting still. Yeah, tide sucking us out of here. Good job, honey. <laughs> I wasn't doing anything. If I drop the anchor so we'll stop. Yeah. Wow, that tide just changed quick. Like it's, it he's fighting like he's 30 inches. <laughs> yeah, highly oxygenated. All right, get him in. You're wasting time. I'm uh, trying. <laughs> Come on, get him in. He's undersized. I got a fish. I'm trying. You're playing. You're playing. You're playing with this guy. Okay, okay, okay. All right, top water game is time. So the dark green is the top, the orange is the bottom. You know what that is? Comment below. Man, that was a good smash. What's right there? Is that another one? Just about to take my black plug off. Boom! We got redfish all around us right here. She's been giving us. They're chasing her plug in two at a time. She's on again. Top water. It sounded like a trout. Teresa's killing it with that chrome sexy dog junior. That's a good trout. Oh, that's a good one. Come on, come on. Oh, there you go. Good job. Yeah, he's huge. So Teresa and I slid the pelican up on this island. We decided to do some walking and throwing. Didn't have much luck, so it's back in the pelican. I just got hammered on that soft dine XL in purple. Threw in that deep channel, let it sink, and whammo. Coming through. Feel the drag. Yeah. Oh, I think I got some backbone. What you got? This is a trout. It's a big one. Maybe you just got him hooked wrong. Maybe he's, maybe he's like six inches. No. Nope. 
Oh, look at there. He is a good one. You do have him foul hooked on the bottom. Nice. Finally, got oh, all day. Trout soft dine XL. So when it's hot and there's a lot of shrimp around, we're using smaller baits. When it gets really cold and there's no more shrimp around, we're throwing bigger stuff like corkies to imitate big, bigger mullet. But what about in the in-between? What about in these periods where we got a, an early winter? It's kind of a warm winter. Soft dine XL. It works all year in every situation. It's a good transitional bait. Yes, ma'am, this is feeling like another trout. If you watch Flats class with C.A. Richardson, and I suggest you do, you will learn really quick that purple is the only color that works in all watercolors. It's got to be my favorite, and I catch a lot of fish in dingy to dirty water with it, and clear. You know, I don't think there's any more simple way for two people to get on the water than with this Pelican Intruder. If a tandem kayak is a divorce boat, well then the Pelican Intruder is a honeymoon boat, son. Stay tuned for lots more adventures in La Pelican.